Now let's cover one of my favorite features on the DM32, as well as its predecessor, the HP 32S2. So that's the fraction display. So that's what this FDISP at the bottom means. So if I want to enter in, say, 1.5, I can display that as a fraction by going to Shift and then FDISP, and I've got one and a half. Now let's say I want to add in one and three quarter. This little uh, label down here, this ABC, reminds me that I can use the decimal point to enter in a fraction. So this one's going to have two decimal points. So we do 1.3 point four for one and three quarter. And then we can add those two together. If I want to add just a fraction with no integer portion, like let's say two thirds, I just do a leading decimal and then 2.3. And then I can add that. Now this little enunciator up here is telling me that the actual value is above what is being displayed here. So this is uh, set right now to 9 tenths. Actually, so right now, let me, let me go into that. So this slash C sets the base. So right now my base is set to tenths. So if I change that base to be um, I think the maximum is 4095. So let's do 4095 and then change that base. That's the maximum base that is allowable. Now it gives me a more accurate value. So 11 twelfths is more accurate than the 9 tenths that was shown. Still, the actual value is above as shown by that enunciator. Now, oh, let's say that I enter in 1.49. And that gives me 49 hundredths. But I want to limit that to a certain base. So let's say I want to limit it to, I don't know, thirds. So I can, again, change that base right there to three, and that's the maximum base that I'm going to allow. So I got a half because half is closer, um, and that base is still less than three. But, uh, so now we have one and one half. Now one of the other cool factors about this is you can set flags to get different fraction formats. So if I want to always have a certain fixed denominator, I can go ahead and set both the 8 and the 9 flags. So that's in the Flags menu, so Shift Flags. And which flag do we want to set? We want to set 8. And now we also want to set flag 9. So I entered in 3 as my base, but let's say I enter in, oh, I don't know, 11th. Now, any fraction that I enter will always show some base value of 11th. Of course, it won't be accurate, but it will get as close as it can. One other really cool one is these factors of denominators. So it will set the denominator and also its factors. This is really useful, for example, when you're doing like English tape measures, U.S. standard. So I can set, let's say, let's say I set it to sixteenths. So I'm going to set my base to sixteenths, and now I'm going to go to clear my fl nine flag. I've already set my eight so flag. I'm going to clear the nine. So now it will give me a factor of sixteen and eight and 4 and 2. All those factors of 16 it will return. So if I say, oh, I don't know, let's do that 1.49 we had again. That gives me 1 and a half. If I do, let's do the 2 thirds and enter that, it gives me 11 sixteenths. And again it's showing me that 11 sixteenths, the actual value is a little less than 11 sixteenths, but it gives me a value and sixteenths, or eighths, or fourths, or halves. So this is really useful for, say, woodworking.